Konnichiwa, you magnificent amphibians. Search Welcome back. This is uh, another commentary I have done. It's not going to be my second commentary. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the video as much as I enjoy making it. I love making videos for you guys. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So, today, I have no idea what I will be talking about. Ah, let's go. And I'm going to talk about the time I was playing paintball. Okay, so, I was, like, it was my friend's party. I think he's gonna be making a YouTube channel soon, too. So, um, one day I'll link that in the description if he ever makes one. But, totally off topic. I, we were going to his house, um, or, well, he was coming to a gas station to pick me up. Cause, um, I'm like, hey, bro. Can you pick me up before you go to before we go to the paintball place? And he said, "Yeah." And um, so we met up there. And <laughs> first thing he he pulls up, and this car is well, it wasn't his car. It was his like it was an SUV type thing, and it wasn't his. It was his family's or his dad's or something or his mom's. I don't know, but it was really nice. Okay. And um, I get in the car. <laughs> first thing my friend says to me, "Hey, what's up?" Potato armor, and that doesn't bother me at all. I'm like, uh, what's up, man? And uh, we're going back to his house, and I forgot. Like, blah blah. Get back to his house. We get there. I feel like super awkward. Just like, like when I get there, cause they're like, oh, we have to go in. I'm like, I feel like super awkward. I have to get out of the car and go into their house. I don't know why I felt awkward. Anytime I go into somebody's house, so I feel like super awkward just being there because I know it's not mine, and it's, it's weird. So I walk into his house, and his mom, his sister's going, it's me, his dad, and two of my other friends and his friends. And they're getting stuff ready. I'm like, oh, bro, this is a nice setup you got here, bro. And um, he's like, eh, do you want to, uh, uh, I guess it would be a do-rag? And I said, sure, because uh, I'm like, if I get shot in the head, maybe it will hurt less. Because we were going to play paintball, and these things hurt if they hit your bare skin. Like, I had a giant welt, and it broke the skin, and it was on my arm, and it hurt super bad. That wasn't even the worst shot of the day, though, man. Trust me. Nice work, Black Ops. Get so, ready for the next round. after that, we, like, we have to go. I get back into the car, and I was wearing, like, the finish shirt part for that day. Don't ask me what was going through my mind. I'm like, I'm not going to be a pussy. I don't give a shit if I get a shot. My mind changed real quick after I got lit up in the first Switching round. It's a good thing I had one of those Halloween swap vest things. I didn't want to bring my really good vest. It was for Airsoft. I still have it. It's really good though. Destroy I love it. I bought that for like $30. It's originally $6. I knew though. Like, I, 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 me and him were really good friends. And he told me for that. Anyway, that's blah, blah, blah. that's a completely off topic again. I don't know where my train of thought is going, guys. It's my bad. Um... Okay, back to the story. So, I go, blah, blah, blah. They're ready. I wait about five minutes. I'm just sitting in their chair. They have a really nice chair. I don't know what kind of chair it was, but it was really nice and really, like, soft and cushiony. So, I was sitting there waiting for them, blah, 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 and uh, go back, get into the car. They're like, is that the only thing you have for protection? I, have, I put out my pair of gloves. They were really nice work gloves. I, I lost one of them, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to look for that one day. But, um, I pull out my gloves and my swap vest, and they're like, okay, you're good. I'm like, yeah. So we go, we pick up the other two, it's like a 20 minute drive. And just in the middle of the ride, I had my headphones turned up super loud, and somebody looked at me a little awkwardly. So I kind of like, oh yeah, these headphones just, they blast. Like, I'm using the exact, well, they're not even headphones, they're earbuds. I'm using earbuds to talk on Xbox and edit this commentary, okay? So I'm so sorry if it's not the best quality. Just, um, god damn, I could fucking think. I'm sorry guys, uh, best quality of, uh, just Mike, I'm sorry for that. But, we got, we get to the paintball place, we wait like 10 minutes, a giant group ahead of us. Finally, it's our turn. So, the, the person that's hosting, or not hosting, the, um, refer our referee took us back to the party room they rented out, and they had, like, 2,000 paintballs, I think. 
And um, it was a really fun day. I love that. It was like the greatest thing ever. I have to go paintballing again someday. Like before school starts. You don't know that. For me, it starts August something. I don't know what day in August, but it starts August something. Oh, yeah. So we finally get there. Blah, blah, blah. Back to the party room. We walk out to the um, paintball shed. He set up ground rules and stuff. And there are option rules like surrender or be shot the optional 40 feet away and i think there was one more oh yeah bunker bunker kill it's like you tap on the thing that they're behind and they're out we use the optional rules is you oh, could sorry. either surrender and get shot or just get shot shooting at the person it's one of the rules the bunker <laughs> no you can run up and shoot them and the third one, I forgot what the third one was, but I'm pretty sure it was, um, bunker, shooting, four feet away. Oh uh, yeah, you didn't have to be 40 feet away. You can be as close as you wanted to and shoot them. And, um, yeah. So, like, I, like, they kept saying how his dad was pretty good. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm like, I want him on my team. The first, uh, round, yeah. I didn't know how to conserve my ammo. I just sprayed everywhere. I was hoping that maybe I'd hit somebody. No, I ran out of ammo. And one of those was, if you ran out of ammo, you're out of that round. And it was sad. I got I got out of that round. That was the first course, though. And um, I didn't know I was out of paintballs. So I just started running towards them, hoping I was shooting. I get lit up. Like, none of them break. But I was out of paintballs. So I just said hit. And uh, I walked over. I was hit. The second course we did was indoors, and this one kid, he was a sniper, hit me right in the face as soon as he said go. That was the end of that round for me. Oh yeah, that was us. Okay. What's that? And then we did a round of zombies, and um, their parents were zombies, the kids were humans. Zombies could get shot as many times as they want. Uh, humans, so could only be shot once, and then they become zombies. This was the round I got shot in the arm, and I was done. I was a zombie. I thought the round was over, but then, um, yeah, I just hear more shooting. So I like, oh, duck. And I did. The third course we did was the funnest of them all, though. And, um, this was the course where the highlights of the hits came from. The highlight of the day. The reel of the day. The kill cam of the day. And, um, yeah. I'm like, oh, I got this. I got this. I love this course. I do love that course still today. On, um... Get ready so, for the next round. this was like the last one. I'm skipping the rest because it was pretty much just normal stuff from there. Okay, I'll tell you one. First round, um, we killed, well, we didn't re kill. We shot everybody on the other team and we won. Switching operation ready it was boy. amazing how that happened. I don't know how I didn't get shot. I thought I got shot though. The After that, um, Friendly the. The, the last round was after that because we were all running low on ammo and the parents decided, hey, we'll sit out and we'll let the kids play. That's what they did. And um, so they, I had half an ammo thing. My friends had half an ammo thing and I think his little sister had half an ammo thing. So um, it was me, my friend that might be starting a YouTube channel and um, my other friend. And um, yeah, <laughs> we're in the round. We're um, shooting at each other. This kid was a sniper. Like I said, he was good. Okay. This was the first time he played too, and I didn't do so hot the first time I played away. Okay, but he was doing super good. And um, he ran up, he was in the mid, and just like, he got such a lucky shot. He shot me in my pinky the first time he shot me. And then um, I shot his little sister in the foot. Oh, you're cruel, oh, you're cruel. Yeah, I didn't mean to shoot her in the leg. But um, after that, um, we yeah, paused the game, she went out, and then she came back in, and um, he decided to take a position where I didn't know he was, and um, he shot me right in the balls. It was dead on. It hurt so much. I told myself, I'm going to go buy a cup before I go paintballing, because I know somebody's going to get in on us, and it's not going to be me that regrets it. Guess what? It was me that regretted it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.